Good morning, everybody. I do hope that you're still having the opportunity to enjoy the summer sunshine, uh, although today looks a bit cloudy and not very nice at all, to be honest. As we approach the first day back, I'm very aware that there's a lot of information and a lot of questions that a lot of you have. And I thought if I try and write all of that in some huge long letter, it would be too long, too boring, and nobody would really understand it all. So my intention is to do this through a series of videos with attachments to them. The principals will be contacting you about your specific sections and grade levels, and you're totally free to contact them as well. And in the meantime, I'll be sending you some brief messages as we get nearer to the time. So today, I would like to start with giving you two bits of information. The first is a really exciting one, and the second one, maybe, maybe not so. First of all, last week and over this weekend, our new teachers have been arriving. Uh, it's great, they've been arriving from other countries as well as from here in Mexico, Mexico City, and all over Querétaro and even Nero Puerto. Uh, they're all established now in their homes and the foreign teachers are in their apartments. This is a really challenging time for them and they're gonna have to get used to us and to the school and to the way that we work through doing all of this online. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you, we met the other day and there was about 23 online, some teachers, mostly the teachers and the principals. Uh, we had a nice conversation and chat and we're in touch with them every day while we're trying to get them working and ready for, for the new day of school. They're going to be seeing this message as well, so I wish you all the very best and welcome to the JFK. And the other issue for today is about the book and material lists. Now obviously this year it's very different and we've been working on all of this stuff from home and every year we normally meet many times since about April and we get all of the information together based on what we regularly do and what we plan to be doing. This year, yes, we made a few little mistakes there and we're working now to try and change that. So the principals, the book suppliers, and all of us have been working together. So attached to this message, you're gonna find a list and it's by grade level and you can go on there and you can see the materials and the books that you require. These will also be sent to you from the book suppliers as normal. And I want to explain the little difference there. The materials list has been divided now. So we're sharing with you, first of all, the things that you will need to start the school year from home. And then separately from that, we'll have the items on the materials list that you don't need to purchase until we go back to school. So as a silly example, a lab coat you won't need until we're actually back physically on campus. Now you may wish to buy that today, or you may wish to wait until we go back. That's entirely up to you. But the list will be divided to give you an idea of what we'll be using from home. And some of those quantities are a little bit complicated to, to know because we don't know about every child and how much glue stick they may use, if they use a lot or a little. Uh, so the quantities are a little bit confusing there to, to try and identify specifically. But we've done our best to help you understand and we've listed the things that you need to have in-house for while we're working from home on our DOLP. Now, a couple of questions you've, you've raised for me. Uh, are first of all, why do you have to buy these things from the JFK? And I can assure you, you don't. The idea came from parents a few years ago that instead of them running all over Caretro looking for different things from different shops, why don't we simply purchase everything and sell them to the parents straight from the school? So that's what we do. But you have no obligation to purchase them from us. You can buy the things wherever you wish to buy them, wherever you want. Okay, now there's a couple of exceptions from that and the only one I can think of at the moment is the notebooks from middle grades, from the middle school. Uh, those notebooks have been designed specifically for students in the Kennedy, not for us to make money because we don't, but because they're educationally uh, designed to help the organisational skills for children at that age. So those have to be provided by us because there's nowhere else to buy them. Apart from that, as far as I know, everything else you can buy where you like, you can buy from friends or from brothers and sisters that were in the grade levels before and do it the way that you wish. All we're asking is when we do come back to school, you will need to be buying the things on the list for back to school for the, for the, for the return to campus. Now that list will probably be updated for you nearer to the time because obviously the amount of products that we will need will depend on how long we're at back at school. If it's in September, we will need much more than if we don't go back until January. So those lists have been written for you and I've even created a comparative chart so that you can actually see the discounts and the amount of money, the reductions that have been there over the last couple of years for you. Okay, so that's all for today 
and I'll be in touch very soon with some other subjects. Thank you very much. Have a good day.